and welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae and today we're going to experiment. We're going to pack this macarons and ship it to my sister and see what condition they come to her. We're going to pack them in three different ways and I have my macarons frozen and I just got them out so I'm gonna hurry up and start packaging them right away otherwise I don't want the macarons to defrost. So let's go over what you will need to pack and ship macarons. First of all, you want an ice pack, and I like to use this one. It's really easy to use. You soak them in water for about 30 minutes, and then put it in the freezer overnight, and they become this gel ice cube. And very convenient, you can easily cut them into the sizes, I will show you later. And then you will need macaron boxes. I'm going to package them in three different ways, and I'm using this box. And then I'm also using clamshell box. And then we're going to also pack them in these individual plastic baggies. They're really cute. We're going to put our packages into this cool pack envelopes with the ice packs so that they stay cool as long as possible. And then lots of bubble wraps. We want to minimize the shuffling in the box so we'll wrap everything up tightly in the bubble wrap. And I also want to mention that when you are making macarons for shipping, ideally I recommend to fill them and freeze them straight away instead of maturing them for 24 hours and then freezing. I recommend freeze them and then they can thaw and mature on the way. Let's get started packaging. So the first method is I'm going to use this clamshell boxes. My macarons are not as big. They fit perfectly, but they still wobble up and down. So I place mini muffin liners like so, and I place them in the clamshell. Now I'm going to close it. There's still a little movement there. I love this gold and silver ones. Tip number one is minimize any movement. You want the macarons packed nice and tight. There's no shuffling. Now my macarons are really nice and snug. Almost no movement. I'm going to put them in this bag. Okay, I have a little room. I'm gonna put the ice pack as well. I'm gonna put one in here on the bottom. Put this one. And then two more, well, two more will fit. These macarons are white chocolate passion fruit macarons. You know, actually three will fit, so I'm gonna put three. And then, I really love this packaging, really handy. Again, no movement. I'm going to put it in the freezer while I'm packing the other ones. So the next thing is, I'm going to use this boxes. Really cute presentation. If you want to send fewer macarons, it's perfect. Again, I'm going to use this liners. There's a little room here, so I'm going to crunch up some parchment paper, put it on the bottom. little too big so another tip is when you're choosing to ship macarons be mindful about the filling choices it's best to send like buttercream sturdier fillings better i want to show you how it looks with this container like super fancy right again i'm gonna minimize the movement i'm gonna put more liners on top Super snug. So I'm going to put it in the freezer and we'll do the last macarons. Okay, with this macaron, I'm going to put them in the individual bags like so. And the idea is you pack them individually to minimize any kind of movement. I find this packaging least practical in my opinion, but if this survives better than the other ones, then it might be worth it. Now I'm going to pack them in this packaging. 
with some ice cubes. I'm gonna put all of it here. And tightly wrap it. Ta-da! I'm going to bring a box and we'll package them up. So I'm going to line the box with uh, some bubble wrap. And I'm going to put the bigger one on the bottom. It's perfectly. And then this one. You could put this in a cool envelope as well, but I'm going to use it like so. And also I'm going to put another layer of cool pack on top in the box. Everything fit perfectly in the box. I'm going to tape it up and ship it. We'll find out how they arrive. So my sister received the package and sent me an unboxing it. So let's get watching together. Quick disclaimer, my sister wasn't able to unbox the package right away when she received it because she was traveling and she put the package in the freezer for a couple of days before unboxing. So we won't be able to share the consistency of the macarons itself, but we'll see what shape they arrive in. So let's get to it. As you can see, I packaged the box really well. There's not much movement. Let's see the first box. Looks a little bit damaged, smooshed together, but not too bad. And I see a little bit um, filling smeared on top of the box there. Not sure how it made that. Yeah, there it is, crumbled up a little bit. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of happening. And it ruins the whole presentation part of the macarons, right? Yeah. This box, I would say it's pretty smashed, although the buttercream is in nice condition. Okay, let's see the next packaging. And this is the one with the individually wrapped macarons here. Let's see. They're looking good, right? Doesn't look cracked or anything. Looks amazing. Let's see the rest of it. Open one up, take a look. Yeah, looking great. This is buttercream filling as well. Looks great. Okay, in the final package, the clamshell box. Let's see what, what it, this one looks like. Fingers crossed that it'll made it okay. Looks promising. Wow, look at that. Wow, absolutely stunning. This is the ganache filling. It stayed up really good too. Beautiful. I think clamshell box with uh, inserts like that is a winner, right? I hope you agree with me. Would Let me know in the comments what do you think and whether you're going to try shipping macarons as well. So if you also have any tips, share it in the comments below. I love hearing from you and until next time, bye.